Welcome to State of Tech. I'm going to show you how to use OmniFocus 2 for the iPhone. If we open up our application, it's going to launch us here into our main menu where we can see everything that's in our inbox, anything that's been flagged, projects, nearby, context, or even perspectives down here at the bottom. One thing that we can do right here from the top is actually swipe down a little secret menu where we can enable our sync, view settings, and even search in the application. So if we view our settings here, we have a couple basic things in here. We can send feedback, view help, read release notes, and then we can change some of our methods down here. With our sync method, we can choose if we have uh, OmniFocus on our iPad and Mac. We can choose to sync with the OmniFocus sync server, Mac, custom web dev, or we can even import our settings from our Mac. Currently, I'm only using OmniFocus on my iPhone, so I'm not going to sync. It's only going to keep the data on my device. Now, when I come into here, you see I have OmniFocus Sync Server. So if I tap on there, I can sign up for a new account. And then if I have one, I'll go ahead and enter my account name. And then I can begin syncing. With Mac, I can sync via Wi-Fi with OmniFocus for Mac. We'll have to do that on our wireless network. And it's going to search for OmniFocus on Mac if I have that open. And then Custom Web Dev, you'll have to enter in all of your Web Dev information in here. We have our app badge icon settings out here in the main settings where we can choose overdue, do soon, or flagged. Choosing these will go ahead and give us an app icon badge count for any items in our overdue, do soon, or flag sections. We can go ahead and tap on those and enable them, and then tap on them to disable them if we wanted to. We have due dates. We're going to take due date means soon. So due soon will mean either 24 hours, 2 days, 3 days, 4 days, 5 days, or 1 week. Tap on the one that you want and it brings you back out here into the main settings. Our notifications, we can choose sounds and alerts. Tapping in there, we can show alerts, play the sound, show alerts, play sound for both location reminders and do reminders. Sliding these off, we'll go ahead and disable any of the alerts and sounds for these two different notifications. Coming back out to the main settings, we can choose capture. We can choose to capture reminders, which will allow us to use Siri to add reminders to our phone. And whenever we open up OmniFocus, it's going to capture those reminders that we've added here and put them in OmniFocus. And if we turn that on, we'll give OmniFocus access to our reminders, tap OK, and then we can also enable which reminders inbox we want to come into OmniFocus. We can tap on one, and we can only choose one. So you see as I tap on each one, it automatically adds this list into OmniFocus. If I wanted to disable out, go ahead and shut that off. We have a Safari bookmarklet, which allows us to import websites from Safari into our OmniFocus. So the way this is going to work is I'm going to come back out to the home screen. I'm going to open up Safari, and then let's just come to a bookmark. Let's just say for the example, I'm going to come to apple.com. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into my bookmarks, tap on bookmarks. We'll come down here to the bottom of my favorites, and you see OmniFocus bookmarklet. So I'm going to tap on that and it's going to create a new inbox item based upon the website and import all the information here. I have notes. You see the note actually imports in the URL and my new inbox item is based upon the URL of the website. If I like to, I can go ahead and hit save here. It's going to save that into my inbox and now we're back into our settings. Now if you want to install the Safari bookmark, all you have to do is tap install. It's going to open you up in Safari, and then it's going to give you some instructions on how to add the bookmarklet, which is really easy to do here inside the Safari itself. So we'll come back into OmniFocus, and then we have our one last section, which is database. You see we have one project, 11 actions, and 58 zip files. If we compact that, it's going to go ahead and compact everything down to give us a more clean and streamlined database. And if we hit reset, it's going to allow us to reset our OmniFocus to its default settings. I'm going to go ahead and hit done and bring us back out here into our main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the forecast first and then we'll make our way down every other section. Inside the forecast, we'll be able to tap on here and it's going to give us our calendar and it's going to be based upon every item or project inbox count that we have. So today you see I have zero items that are due, but I do have some calendar events that is showing me down here on the bottom. The next one, if I tap on Friday, you see that I actually have a reminder for tomorrow. You see record this iPhone app demo, and then it's in any due by 5 p.m. And I'll set my calendar down at the bottom. So I'll be down from the top. I can do sync, view. I can view options, deferred or calendar events. And then I can do my calendars and the day starts and day ends. 
and tap in any one of these I can go ahead and hide the calendars from my main calendars application and I can choose when my day starts and when my day ends. And I can also show deferred items and calendar events. I can choose any one of these options, hide them or show them. Now hit done, we'll pull back down from this menu and I can even tap in the search. I can search here, remaining or everything and I can search for any event on the calendar in here. Now if I hit edit in the top right hand corner, it's going to allow me to delete this um, item if I needed to, if I was done with it. And then hitting the plus button is going to bring me into my new untitled item where I can begin adding new things, which we'll go over here in a little bit. Now we'll come back to the home and we'll come into our inbox. Our inbox is going to be any task that we've currently assigned to anything, and it's just sitting here in our general inbox. I haven't really assigned anything here yet, but I have some basic options I can do. And you see I'm getting this basic thing I can swipe down, do a sync, view, and search. Now tapping edit is going to let me delete or rearrange these items here in my inbox. If I tap delete, it's going to give me the delete option. And if I slide over on the right, it's going to allow me to rearrange these in my specific order. I'll hit done, hide that little menu, and then we have some things we can do. Down the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to hit the plus button, and it's going to give me a new untitled item, which I can go ahead and create. If I wanted to check any of these off, I can go ahead and hit this circle on the right hand side of the item, and it's going to check that off and put it in my completed items. So if I tap on one actually, on the name without tapping on the circle, it's going to give me the detail information for my inbox item. I have the name of the inbox item and all this information down here. I can add them to projects, context, flags, defer, do, repeat, move, convert to a project, share, and then even delete. And I have tabs in here where I can go into note. You see I have a note about this inbox item to ask about app marketing, and then I can even attach a photo or a voice recording. Now if I tap on the right hand corner of these up arrows, I can move inbox items, I can move from one to the other, and you see I keep going in. Now the reason that this one that says email Stephanie has an orange circle while the other ones don't is because I have flagged this one for my inbox. Now I come back out, I'll go ahead and add a new one, and we'll show you how to, this all works. So I'm going to give it an untitled name for this one. Let's go ahead and say that I need to email Anthony. Now this project, we're going to actually give it a project. So in this one, you see I have tap project. I already have a specific project going on currently. I have state of tech, which is my main folder, and then app demos is the project. And you can see that it's a folder, the beginning one, because of the colon that's separating the two of them. So I can either add it to that current project, or I can search a new project, tap none for no project, or if I type here in the search, let's just say I want to add in daily app show. Now you see I can create daily app show or I can go ahead and do none but since I was searching I'll come in here and edit that real quick and now I'll go ahead and create daily app show which is a new project. Now the context is going to basically kind of categorize it here. You see I have some context items such as errands, home, work, uh, Mac, phone, people and even waiting. So based upon the context that you want to go into, being that Anthony and I work together, I'd want to put this in a context of work instead of putting in a context of home. And also being that the subject item that I have is a work-related item, it also fits in with that context as well. So I'll go ahead and tap on work. So now I've sorted this inbox item not only by the name and project, but now I've added a context to it so that way I know that this is a work-related item. And then I can flag this item as well, so that way I know it's an important object or an item or anything like that. Now my defer until, if I tap in there, I can choose that this is going to be an item or object that I don't want to see until a specific date. So let's just say I don't want to see this until Saturday at 12 p.m. I can go ahead and defer until, and then once that date and time arrives, I'll be able to see this in my inbox item. Now if I want to go ahead and remove that defer until, I'll just go ahead and select today and we'll just do that and you see it's going to defer that until today. I can choose a due date. So let's say this one I'm going to make this due next Monday at 1 p.m. And then my repeat, if this was a repeating event, I can do repeat regularly, defer again until completion, or do again after completion. So currently this does not repeat, but if I were to select one of these, you see the options down here in the bottom that I can choose the next occurrence, the due date, 
and the hours and repeat. I can do repeat every hour, repeat days, weeks, or even months. Now we'll come back out here. You see it's currently it's repeat to every hour. So let's go ahead and shut that repeat off for now. And then we can add notes. So if I wanted to add notes, we're going to do app marketing. And then attachments, say I wanted to add a photo, I'll tap on the camera, give it access to my photos. I can take a photo, choose existing, or just use the latest photo that was in my camera roll. I'll go ahead and take one. We're gonna go ahead and just snap this photo right here. And we'll go ahead and use this. And then I can also add a voice attachment, access the microphone, and then go ahead and you see now it's recording and I have volume meters down here in the application. I can go ahead and pause it. And now when I'm ready to record again, unpause it, and you see it picks up right where I left off. And then when I'm done, go ahead and hit the check mark, and you see we have a new audio recording. Now if I wanted to, I'll just save this. If I hit save in the top right hand corner, it's gonna save it and bring it back out to the main menu. But if I wanted to create a new item right after this one, I'll hit save plus, and you see it swipes down, brings me into a new untitled item, or I can begin adding a new one. We'll go ahead and cancel out of there, and we'll go ahead and come back home. Now we have our inbox, we can go through the flagged ones, which is basically all the inbox for all of our flagged items. We can come into projects, you see all the projects that I have going on. I have state of tech as a folder, and inside that folder, I have a project called app demos. And then you see we have the new project daily app show that we just created, and there's no current projects in there. We have Hill Media Group, which is a folder. And then we have our daily app show project that we created when we were creating this new item, email Anthony. Now in the top right hand corner I can tap edit and delete some of these folders so let's go ahead and delete daily app show since we already have that and we can even delete Hill Media Group and now I can rearrange these in the order I'd like them to be in. Hit done and it's going to save my changes. Now I've hit the plus button it's going to allow me to create a new project, new folder, or a new inbox item. And the same thing in the bottom right hand corner I have the same thing where it's going to allow me to create a new item without having to do anything else. Come back out I can view nearby which if I add any location, you see I can zoom in here on the map, and let's just say for this next location I'm gonna to go to, I want to drop a pin. Tap and hold, I can drop a pin and use location context here, tap on the information, and now I can add this specific instance on the map to one of my errands or work or any context here as well. I can come back out, come home, I view context, these are all the contexts that I have, and I have actions down here at the bottom that are already in my inbox. If I tap on the plus button, it's going to allow me to add a new context where I can add a status as active, on hold, or dropped. So any of these contexts that I have, I have different things I can choose, and I can even choose a location. When I tap on location, I can do here, address, anywhere, contact, search, or a pin. So if I had a context, say if uh, my context was home repair, and I want it to, to be uh, an address, I'll tap in there and I can search for an address. So if I knew the address to say my local Home Depot or Lowe's, I can add this in here and then whenever I add anything to a home repair context and I mark it as active, whenever I drive next to that address, my phone will automatically remind me of the next item that's in my context menu. So I can add these in here and not have to worry about them, but I'll be reminded when I actually drive next to Home Depot to actually do my actions in my inbox. Now coming back out into the main menu again, we have our perspectives, which we can choose context, do, flag, or completed. Now these are gonna be different menus, submenus that we can add here. You see I've added completed out here to the top menu where I can see all of my completed items. And if I come back into perspectives and tap edit, I can tap on the star in any one of these options and it's going to show that out here on the main menu. And then I can even rearrange the order that they're in. Once I hit done, come back to home, you see I have my completed and perspectives down here. And then lastly, in the bottom right hand corner, like we've seen in every menu, if we tap on that, it's going to bring us into a new untitled item that we can go ahead and add here into our projects and contexts. And that's how you're gonna use OmniFocus for your iPhone.